This is Oklahoma's own News 9. Well, we have finally made it to Friday, ready to kick off the holiday weekend, and we have plenty yeah. of sunshine for that. So we, oh, plenty. <laughs> Without <I mean>. a <laughs> doubt. <laughs> yeah, there is no shortage of sunshine around here today. It's beautiful, but it's a little hot. we got to crank the AC <laughs> up, unfortunately. We're going to have to be doing that for quite some time. But it, we, it is July 1st. We ended June yesterday, and it didn't end so bad. Now, we did end up a little bit below normal as far as uh, rain is concerned. We ended up with about 3.31, and we typically see almost 4.5 inches of rain. But we didn't have any tornadoes. That's always great news, and we typically average around 7 tornadoes for the entire state of Oklahoma in the month of June. Now, the hottest temperature was 99 degrees and we're going to probably see some more of those in our near future. Now as far as July is concerned, by the time we get to mid-July, the average high temperature is 94 degrees. By the time we end July, the average high is 95. And those overnight lows warming up into the low 70s as well. As far as rainfall is concerned, it's the fifth wettest month of the entire year. So not a ton of rain, but good enough. We usually see about 3.6. The most we've ever seen is almost 12 inches back in 1996. And it's not a big severe weather month for us by any means. It's typically pretty quiet and that's how it's going to be today. This this is our Enid camera, but over Pike Pass Sky Kim Network, blue skies, 91 degrees, a south wind at 13. The dew point in the upper 60s, so it feels more like 95 already. Temperatures in the low to mid 90s across the north. We do have some upper 80s, though, in far northwest Woods County, but some low to mid 90s across the south and upper 80s across the east with a southeast wind between about 15 to 25. The wind's actually coming out of the north, though, in the panhandle where we do have a weak boundary. Now, dew points in the upper 60s and low 70s across central and eastern Oklahoma. So that is where that heat index will play a much larger role as we go throughout the afternoon. It feels more like the mid and upper 90s, almost statewide. Still some feels more like the upper 80s in the far southeast and also out in the panhandle. But right now, Satellite radar showing the main jet streams well to the north. We are going to continue to have a couple of pieces of energy move basically around us like that ring of fire that we've been talking about. So the ridge of high pressure out to the west, but the chance of rain and storms over Kansas, that's actually going to continue over the next couple of days. But there is a chance some of these storms will make it far enough south to actually move into northern Oklahoma. Over the next couple of days, that's exactly what the forecast is. There's a slight chance of rain and storms basically in far northern Oklahoma this evening and then again tomorrow evening with the chance of storms a little bit higher out in the panhandle. But after that, I really don't see too many rain chances at all for quite some time. That ridge is really going to start to build back in. In fact, it looks hotter. It looks drier, so temperatures will only go up. We're talking about highs in the upper 90s and around 100 degrees. Even for a couple of days, that will be a possibility as we get into next week. So that heat dome it is here today. High of 95 degrees in Oklahoma City, about 102 in Alva, 102 in Hobart, 100 this afternoon in Lawton. And then for this evening, there is a slight to moderate chance of storms in the panhandle. Overnight tonight, we're looking mostly clear and temperatures drop into the low 70s. Tomorrow, very similar to today, 95 degrees at southeast wind between 10 to 20, a little bit more wind out west, but not really providing a whole lot of relief when you're talking about highs around 100 degrees or higher. Tomorrow evening, a slight chance of storms in north central Oklahoma, but a moderate chance out in the panhandle and in the far northwest. Sunday afternoon, 96 degrees, upper 90s all across western Oklahoma. And for Oklahoma City specifically, for the rest of your holiday weekend, again, what you see is what you get. It's not really going to change a whole lot. It's only going to get worse. By Monday, I have 98 degrees with a breezy south wind. Probably going to have to spend some time, if you can, hopefully, by a pool, a leg, any bottle, maybe a bottle of water, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Temperatures in the upper 90s, at least through about midweek of next week. But we do expect those 100-degree temperatures to return here eventually, probably even for a couple of days.